Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Yeah. Frosty Real is here. Um, my entry into Doom Waves 100 subscriber contest. Well, like, I don't really care about the contest, but it was such a cool question he asked to enter the contest. Like, I had to do a video for it. I think I'll like it too. He uh, nerdiest stuff that you collect or did collect or in your collection right now. Um, I want to show three things, and the last one's going to be, I think, the top of the nerdiness, because it's really obscure and really old. Actually, everything's obscure here. First, we're going to show off something that I can't believe I found for 25 cents at a thrift store, and you all might know this. They were released by Hasbro in 1987, made in Hong Kong, assembled package in China, and that is Battle Beasts. I have here a sealed package of Series 1 Battle Beasts. I mean, the package is pretty beat up. Yes, I only paid 25 cents for it. If I ever decide to sell, I'll probably make way more than that on eBay. But I don't know if you all remember Battle Beasts, but the, I used to love, love these things. These are one of my all-time favorite toys from the late 80s, actually. Cause they were just so cool. Each character came with a weapon. They had the emblem on the front to show if they're water, fire, or wood. Basically, the game they played like paper, rock, scissors. Water defeated fire. Fire defeated wood. Wood defeated water. And, yeah. Next up, another toy that I liked, which are pretty much army men, but... I want to say more sophisticated Iron Man, because they're not just all one solid color. And that is Guts, released by Mattel in 1986. So I actually had these, and I, do, I have two complete sets. I have the Green Berets. The, darn the glare. There we go. If you look on top of the screen there, see what they, they're, 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 they don't pose. They're just the way they are. And there's the rest of the Green Berets. Each set had only ten guys. I bet Zooka Launcher guy used to be my fun one. Actually, one year had fun with these things. I put them in the tree. And then I have the Ground Troops collection. Look at that. The Ground Troops there. And there's the rest of the Ground Troops. That bald guy was actually one of my favorites of these guys. There was also a Cuta Force, which was uh, martial arts guys, jungle fighters... Um, which were, because it was so hot, half of them didn't have shirts on. Um, laser fighters and underwater guys, too. That was it. They had a few vehicles for them, even though the vehicles were kind of useless because the guys couldn't sit inside of them. And that's pretty much it. This this line here died pretty quickly. I think it was only out for that year, if I'm not mistaken. And they were sold in two, five, and ten packs. I actually used to own the ten packs of these. Of I... I want, at one time did have, when I was younger, I had all the Green Braves, all the Ground Troops, all the Jungle Fighters, all the Aikido Force. The only ones I never got was the... No, I actually did have the entire collection at one time. But I, you know what? I Over the years, I just lost them. I don't know what happened to them. But yeah, two, five, and ten packs. I used to... I did have a two-pack. He threw in a two-pack for free when I bought... So I got these both off of eBay. I got this off of one guy... I got the Green Braves off one guy, and the Ground Troops off another, and then um, the uh, there was a two-pack that he gave it to me for free, and I was like, well, I don't want just a two-pack, because I want the whole collection at the time I was looking for him, so I uh, sold it on eBay. I think I got about, like, ten bucks for the two-pack, too, so, back then. Now, the most nerdiest thing, and I don't even know if you guys will even remember these... You had to have been a child of the late 80s, early 90s to even remember these, because it was released by Fisher Price in 1988. If all y'all remember this, please comment. I want to hear how you used to love the Pocket Rockers. What it was was a little portable cassette player, but not any cassette. It took these little tiny things. This one is te La Bamba and Tequila. Not by the original artists. Every tape, every cassette player came with a not original artist cassette. And, shoot, I took the batteries out. But what you would do is you just pop it in. It's actually kind of going to crap on me. And these are worth quite a bit now, too. 
but you just pop it in, you listen to it, and what it would do is, this is the switcher here, and it would basically you listen to the song, and then it would just switch sides automatically. No way to rewind, no way to fast forward, so if you stopped in the middle of the song, you're going to have to listen to where you stopped it. problem with these little cassettes is not enough room for the full song. Like, they finish the songs in these, like, crappy ones, but, like, let's see here. Who are these guys? Casanova, My Forever Love. I forget what the band is because it doesn't say... But it's not the full song. They couldn't fit the full song on them. Like, I also have uh, Huey Loose in the News, uh, Hip to Be Square, and Heart of Rock and Roll. I got Miami Vice theme and The Heat is On, which I remember the thing actually saying that both songs were from the Miami Vice soundtrack and The Heat is On is not. That's from Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> but that's one thing that did suck, and I think that's what killed them, too, because they didn't last that long. Like, when I got mine, I did not get mine in 88. I think I got it at Toys R Us in 89, and it was clear and stout. So I think the, this back then was like tw 10, 15 bucks. The tapes were like 5 to, or less. Got Boston, Amanda. Can't just say still in love. And if y'all remember, Fat Boys, Wipe Out, and Rock Ruling, Fat Boys. They were so huge in the 80s. But yeah, that is probably the nerdiest thing I still have, is my Pocket Rockers tape player and all the tapes I was able to actually... All these tapes are from when I originally bought it. Like, the last one I got was the Casanova one, just because it was like I wanted another cassette, and they were almost all completely wiped out. So I just bought that one. But yeah, it's just uh, like my Boston one, the sticker's coming off. What sucks, too, about it is these, because seeing how they are cassettes, and they are cheaply made... is the fact that I know if you listen to them a lot, like my Huey Lewis and the News one is probably the worst one because I listened to that one the most when I was younger. And you can kind of in the back, very slightly, you can hear the other song bleeding through the cassette tape, the analog tape, or whatever you would call it. And it's bleeding through, so you can kind of hear the other song on the other side as you're listening to, let's say, um, Hip to Be Square. You can kind of hear Heart of Rock and Roll very faintly in the background. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that is probably one of the nerdiest things I own, and also one of the hardest things to find. There's only three of them on. They're actually, only the cassette players, there's two of them on eBay, and they're going for a crap load of of money, the cassette players. One is still boxed, actually, with a busted cassette that doesn't work. But it's kind of cool that the guy still had the box. And then one person is selling a bunch of the cassettes in the old cassette rack. They actually had, like, a nice rack you could set on top of your dresser and stick these all inside of it. I did have that at one time, but I never got any more cassettes, so I just got I threw that thing out. But yeah, nerdiest thing I own, pocket rockers, if y'all remember this thing. I don't... Was in the 90s they came out with another version of this. It wasn't called Pocket Riders, and it wasn't cassettes. It was like little MD cards or something like that, or little CDs or something that it played. It was some kind of digital music, because I remember Britney Spears being on it and Kirsten Aguilera and a bunch of other pop music that I didn't care about. And that thing also died pretty quickly, because once again, they didn't have the full song on it. Now, if they could have fit the entire song on these little tiny cassettes for kids, I think it would have lasted longer. But um, if you want to hear more about this, I can do a research video on this. But yeah, that is congratulations on 100 subs, Doom Waves. I just subscribed to him. I'll put his link down below in the description. His, uh, his nerdiest thing was kind of cool. Mighty Max. Go check out his video. You'll know more about it. So yeah, Frosty Bros and Pocket Rockers are out.